broken down. When van life goes so wrong, so uh, long story, try and keep it short, are you still with me? Uh, I had a bit of wobble on the driver's side wheel and before I left to come to the Lake District, uh, when I was with Mule and Kev and that and Sean, we all checked it to see if it might be the bearing, no issues, but as I came into the Lake District on Friday, today's Sunday, I uh, could start to hear a noise as I uh, was going around the left-hand bend and then today, coming out of the Lake District, as I was driving, wherever I was driving to, you could just hear like a banging noise. So literally, I am parked up at a, a BP carriage with a bike shop and a cafe on the way out of the Lake District. And uh, I called the RAC out. So they've come out, they've jacked the van up and uh, nothing wrong with the bearings and all that sort of stuff. But it is the drive shaft on the driver's side that has gone. And we got underneath and had a look and he showed me where the wobble is. Uh, so my drive shaft is a little bit buggered uh the van is still drivable and they said to me i could drive back to mule barnsley in the van if i kept at a low speed of like 20 30 mile down the motorway uh, as best as possible in a straight line uh, instead of country roads uh, but i've got recovery so that's all been sorted now so i'm literally just here and now waiting recovery uh, for a low loader to come out and i don't know when that is going to be because it's sunday and the RIC guy has advised me because it goes out to a third party company that um, it could be at any time, it could be tonight, it could be tomorrow morning. So I've just been over to the garage who owns this forecourt area, just informed them that I've broken down weight and recovery, uh, gave them my contact number so they know I'm going to be in the van overnight if it's going to be overnight. And yeah, so the, the joys of van life and motoring. But that arm there is the drive shaft that goes into this rubber housing there. And that, when you lift the van up and jack it up and rotate the vehicle, uh, the tire around, you can see that moving out of its joint instead of rotating smoothly. So that's what's making the noise, that drive shaft arm there. And that's what needs replacing. So yeah, there you go, there's the drive shaft arm and all that sort of stuff. It's it is what it is that drive shaft's been on the vehicle since 2018 so again it's just something that's going to go it's not because of anything else that i've done to the van it's just wear and tear and it's age it's all gonna it, it has these the vans will eventually go it's like when i broke down in switzerland uh, the water pump failed but things are going to go wrong with vans it's life unfortunately it's life as we know it jim but not as we know it still with me seen a bit So a little update in the dark and the rain. Uh, still haven't been recovered as yet. Uh, it's about 8 p.m. at night, so it's been about three, four hours now. Um, I've tried ringing RAC again. Uh, they said they're gonna try and get through to the local company that they're gonna arrange it with and, and give me a call back at some stage, but it's got this feeling that I'm probably stuck here for the night. So I'm off to bed. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a phone call. So that's my update. I'll let you know when I know more. See you in a bit. Hey, guys, can I go to the hall now? <laughs> no, go to the hall. Good evening. So recovery trucks arrived, but the problem I've got is because of the lift kit and the bigger wheels, they can't recover the van. So I've got to continue to wait for another truck that's going to be bigger to come and recover me. The joys are breaking down. The back end of this truck, these things that my wheels are too wide to fit in this recovery truck for this. So I've got to wait now until they find me another one. Good morning. So it is uh, 20 past five in the morning. I have been awake 
thinking, wondering where my breakdown is. I've just rang RAC again um, because I was told by the last recovery guys that um, because it was the wrong vehicle, they will send uh, another vehicle out. And that was by 10 o'clock last night. So I jumped into bed waiting for the next recovery vehicle and nothing's arrived. So I rang RAC and it uh, aspires that the last company that came out, the last guy, because um, he didn't turn up in the right vehicle, rang his boss when I was there to say, and apparently they canceled the job. Which I didn't know about. So now, um, I support RAC, they apologised. Um, they've reopened the job and they realised that it should be a flatbed vehicle that should be coming to pick me up. So now I'm still waiting, but he reckons it'll be about eight o'clock. Around that time. So. It's a good job I'm in a camper van in a safe area. So I guess we'll update you whenever we can on that one. See you in a bit. Probably the best way to be recovered by somebody else who understands vans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. I should have brought your camera. Actually. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's okay. So, just another little update. I've got Mark here, who's our recovery driver. He's actually a full-time van lifer. He lives in his motorhome, and he's a YouTuber as well. And uh, he's kindly recovered us, so we've had a really good chat, journey back here, but we've been dropped off at Birch Services, uh, near Manchester, I think, and the, the recovery is happening in a relay, so we've been dropped off here by Mark, and then another recovery truck's got to come out and pick us up to take us the rest of the journey. The joys of recovery and van life, eh? Well, oh, Archie's good, isn't you? Hey? Archie! Archie! <laughs> So I've just been on the phone for like 20 minutes to RAC to find out an update of the second part of this recovery. And he's just told me that, oh, you've, you've been recovered as far as our system's confirmed. So they've had to reopen the recovery and now try and book another row loader to get me the rest of the journey back to Mule. So now I'm just, it's about 11 o'clock. I'm still sat in Birch Services, wherever that is, Manchester way. And I've just got to wait until they bring me back to give me an update of when the next recovery is going to be. So, yeah. Recovery in the UK is complicated. So, third recovery attempt, and we're off. So another hour or so to get back to Mule, and we'll be back. We made it, We're back at Mule. Mule, van. <coughs> Archie, we made it back to Mule. We did, buddy. Yeah, good boy. So back at Mule, as I said, and that's just the end of the recovery. Almost 24 hours from calling an RAC to breaking down to getting the van back recovered. But <coughs> like I said, it's not 
I can still drive the van. Um, I, they said to me I can do short distances, but in order, I've got to get the front right-hand side uh, drive shaft arm that comes across from the front wheel towards the gearbox replaced. So that's the next set. But I'm going to be here at Mule for a while now. Uh, no long journeys and all that sort of stuff. And it'll be a case of getting it all done. And in the meantime, I can get on with painting the sides and other stuff that I want to do. So perfect time to get things done before I can get the wheel fixed. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our random journey of recovery. And we'll see you on the next video sometime soon. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.